Good morning everybody. It's an absolutely gorgeous June 21st morning this morning. Uh, actually it's summer solstice today, the longest day of the year and the official start of the summer. And we are just on our way out in the Panamera Hybrid to go to the VIMC, that's the Vancouver Island Motorsports Circuit, for a day at the track with the Porsche Club and uh, we're also going to test out some really interesting cars that they have at the track that you can actually take on the track yourself with or without an instructor. So let's get going. For those of you who don't already know this, the Vancouver Island Motorsports Circuit is located just northwest of Duncan, BC and it's literally like when I say north, I mean it's literally just out out of the uh, downtown core of uh, Little Duncan, BC. And from Victoria, you take the Trans Canada Highway, TC1, which is what we're going to do right now because we're in Victoria, actually on Bear Mountain, which is just west of Victoria. And if you were coming on the ferry from, say, Nanaimo, like Horseshoe Bay to Nanaimo from the mainland or something like that, you would drive south from Nanaimo, which is about a half hour drive to get to Duncan, whereas it's about a 45 to 50 minute drive to get to Duncan from where I am here, depending on the traffic. Well, well, look what we have here. It's a GT3 RS. One of our Porsche Club uh, members has this one. Well, that's good news. We get to see this on the track today. It sounded really good when he drove by. I pulled over to the right so he could uh, he could drive by. It sounded awesome. <laughs> Who wouldn't want one of those, eh? Porsches, Porsches all day here. That's the Porsche Club. Oh, we got an autocross course set up. That means I can do some autocrossing today, maybe. Cool. Now, as usual, I've got way too much stuff crammed into the car, so I don't, I can't take it all at once. I have to take a couple of trips. But you see how much room there is in here. I've taken out the cover just because I was carrying a bunch of uh, camera gear and stuff and I haven't bothered putting it back in, but I got my helmet in there, camera bags and all the rest of it, and we'll just take that out. Well, next time. So this is one day, one day old, eh? Yeah. Don't put me on film, though. All right. <laughs> not that type of guy. John is. <laughs> Yeah. That's okay. Looking lucky. Ah, it looks beautiful though. <laughs> <laughs> did, did you or, did order this spec? Yeah, yeah. Nice. How many months was it to get it? Oh, it was quite short. It was the last allocation. They they just got an extra one. Decided to call me. Or I'm lucky. I'm lucky. Yeah, yeah. What idiot's gonna buy this? People.
you can't go anywhere. So here we are in front of the pits and the uh, pit garage here at the Vancouver Island Motorsport Circuit. Absolutely perfect day today. Behind me you can see there's a line of Porsches coming around. The instructor, that's Brad actually, you might remember him from a previous video. That's Brad, uh, lead instructor there, taking the guys around on a circuit. Looks like they might be waiting. Oh, yeah. Aha. Uh -huh. Well, well. They all use radios so they can uh, coordinate everything they're talking to each other. And they're basically doing their orientation right now, but we are going to try a few cars out. Uh, they've been kind enough to let me uh, sample some of the cars today. Uh, so these are the track cars for the motorsport circuit. You can actually rent all of these cars and drive them on the track here. We'll talk a little bit more about that later with Adrian Horn, the head instructor. He's going to take us around the circuit and look at everything. But uh, you can see what we've got here. Alpha 4C. Here's a final edition Mitsubishi Evo, Evo, pardon me, Alpha Julia, Mercedes C43 over here. This is, a, this is a new edition right here. But what I thought would be fun to try out to start with today is the Subaru STI. Apparently this is a limited edition. There's only 75 of these in Canada. So let's have a look at this one. It's hot in here. Nice leather interior. Ooh, nice Recaro seats, of course. Four doors. Let's hop in. Okay. Six speed. We're going to move this over to the pit area right now, so I'm just going to shut it off. Shut the camera off while I'm doing that. Oh, yeah, this is the RA edition, by the way, STI. So that's the limited production. 75. I this one is number seven out of 75. All right, looks like we're ready to roll. Going out with group two, let's get fired up. Gotta remember to put my foot on the clutch because it won't start. I'm getting so used to my automatics. I don't need a radio. Uh, you'll be totally fine to stick up with the group. You'll be okay. These are all your braking points here. This is the entry and exit markers here for this corner. I gotta get used to this gearbox too. Totally different gearbox, totally different clutch. Second gear into third gear my first drive my first time driving an STI I'm really actually pretty chuffed about it it's pretty fun I like the idea of just trying different cars because you know each car it has different characteristics and it's probably going to teach you more than uh, just driving one car all the time oh it's got Really nice uh, mid-range torque here. Nice power band. Back in the second gear. Looking for that apex cone right there. Looking forward to the e exit cone. And along the braking zone, last turns before we enter the straight. Mind you, wait, no, there's a couple more turns. There's this kind of corkscrew thing right here. This is 
off camber downhill. This is off camber. Nice suspension on this car, I like it. Wow, it's actually pretty, it's really smooth and really flat. I wouldn't have to shift plus it makes more and more power so you're limited a little bit by some of the gearing choices um, seats are really good brakes were really nice really easy to use um, doesn't have a, a ton of grip I don't think with these tires it's not bad but um, it's got some weight to it like compared to those little Porsche Caymans for example carrying around a little bit of extra weight so I think push comes to shove in those tight places I think the Porsches have an advantage to this car however it does have rear seats in a truck Right, here's group A uh, gridding up again to go out. I was in group B so I'm gonna go and find another car 
I'm told I can go and grab the Mercedes. I think it's a C43, so let's go have a look what they've got there. There's an Alpha. The yellow one's faster than the red. It just looks faster. I drove that. I drove the uh, STI. I'm gonna leave the Julia. C43, there you go. Apparently these are fairly new cars to the track. We'll get the details from Adrian a little bit later, but um, I can open it without uh, scratching it with all my cameras in my hand. I gotta figure out, I'm gonna just cut for a second, excuse me. This is your nice standard cushy Luxo Mercedes interior. They're very, very nice, comfortable cars. That's a beautiful looking interior. I like the uh, seat extensions here. That's really nice for you long-legged people. which I sort of happen to be. I have, I have an issue where my, uh, my knees come up, uh, if I'm close to the pedals and everything, my knees come up high and then I hit the bottom of the steering column a lot when I'm driving certain cars. And so I have to get used to that. <clears throat> some of them you can adjust and some of them it's just, you just can't, you can't get enough adjustment on it. And this one has a roof, so I might be able to attach a camera to that. That's what I'm gonna do. All right, now I'm trying the uh, AMG C43. Super luxurious. It's got a whole bunch of drive modes. Hey, yes, please. Yourself, sir. So Thank you. are going to go in the far group, which will be group one. Hey, can you tell me? Oh my God, get this off here. Uh, what, the driving modes. Yep. What do I want? Uh, I would put it in at least sport. Sport plus is just going to sharpen everything just a little bit more. Um, I would personally keep it in sport, sport, and that opens up your exhaust valves, gives you the first mode of suspension stiffness. Okay. And if you do want, you see by that button down there oh. below those dynamics, if you hit that again, that'll be stiffer suspension. If you hit that M, that'll put you into manual where you can play with paddles if you like. Oh, wow. Yeah, I do want paddles. It, uh, this car does have quite the exhaust crackle as soon as you shift anything above like 4,500 RPM. It is, it's something. It's a fun car. You're getting me all excited. Okay, well, thanks. Won't do it too much. <laughs> don't break our car that's what he said that he's trying to tell me I don't want it in automatic mode I want it in manual mode ah oh, yes it's gone into first gear I'm going to use the paddles on this baby that'll be fun I'm kind of interested in driving the the paddle shifter I assume it's an automatic transmission but because I was because I was just driving um a standard so it kind of keeps me in the same mode of thinking right you know kind of downshifting for the for the corners and I it, it helps you prepare for the corners when you think about which gear you want to be in. Hey you're going to do a radio check uh, wave through the windshield or yeah great and Gordon yep okay thank you. So you'll hear hey, Mark. Hey Brad. Yeah okay. Yeah you'll hear Brad talking on the radio. The exit cone, they come down. Yeah, everyone looks like they have a good exit there. Trying to straighten up for braking for 15. As we get on the gas, we're careful as we're pairing that with the movement of the steering wheel. Perfect exit. Excellent. Lots of braking for eight. 
It's a, it's a nice uh, nice quick sedan uh, definitely not as fun on the track as the STI uh, pushes at the front end a lot more I I couldn't carry as much speed through the corners so it's got I mean it's got good brakes I like the way the shifter is very very quick that's good um, red lines like 6500 or something again not very high so I found I was kind of running out of revs a little bit um, but it's actually a pretty, pretty fun car. It sounds great. Nice sporty car. Yeah, I thought that was quite interesting, obviously listening to Brad there giving instructions to the group. I hope uh, I'll cut some of this in. I don't know how much you want to do. You want to listen to of that. So maybe I'll make an extra video just with Brad's comments. So if somebody wants to learn the motorsport circuit corners, uh, you need to get a map. I would get a map so you can follow his instructions and uh, then you can learn the different aspects of each corner. That will be very instructive for you. So thanks, Brad, and uh, I'm going to go to lunch. <laughs>